face! I'm a cartoon character! Look at me! Whoa! Look at you! Reese, we're both cartoon characters! Yeah, we are! This is how we're going to tell the story. Our story today is about Jesus and how he shows us his love for us. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. Whoa there, greatest showman. Can we get back to the story? Yeah. Jesus showed us his love by the way he treated the people who were around him and also by the miracles he did while he was here on earth. Let's just say, Jesus was a pretty awesome guy. Yeah, he was. Everything Jesus did got the people talking. They wondered if Jesus was the king God had promised to sin, to save them from the wrong things they had done. So, was Jesus like Superman and just didn't realize he had special powers that God would use to save the world? No, Jesus knew exactly why God had sent him to earth. He came to take the punishment for the wrong things we do and to give us life that would never end. That's more powerful than anything Superman's got going on. And the time had come for Jesus to do all that God had planned. He was on his way to the city of Jerusalem. And when Jesus got there, he rode in... On a motorcycle! Oh, oh! And that motorcycle had sidecars for his disciples, and the sidecars had sidecars! Uh, not quite. Uh, Jesus rode in on a donkey. <laughs> The people knew he had to be the king God had promised to send. So they waved palm branches and shouted, Hosanna! Which means, save us. A few nights later, Jesus and the disciples were eating a special meal together. Jesus knew this would be the last supper they would share before he went back to heaven. His very last supper? I bet they ate something really fancy, like chicken nuggets with every type of dipping sauce. Actually, Jesus kept it pretty simple. He thanked God for the bread, broke it up, and gave some to each of his disciples. Then, Jesus thanked God for the cup, and everyone ate and drank. Wait, Jesus? The one who came to save everyone? Served his friends? Sure did. That's another way he showed love. And get this, after dinner, he also washed everyone's feet. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Well, I, I guess the disciples weren't expecting it. That's usually a servant's dirty job. That would be like Iron Man coming to wash my smelly socks. He's way too cool for that. I should be washing his socks. Jesus explained to them how washing their feet was a way he could show them love. That's some extravagant love. Later that night, they all walked over to the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus spent some time praying by himself. As the night went on, Things got really serious. Oh man, is this when? Yep. And exactly. How about you tell them this next part? Once Jesus was done praying, he was arrested by a group of guys that didn't like him, like at all. These people didn't like that Jesus claimed to be God's son, and they definitely didn't think he should be king. They made a plan to have Jesus put to death. Wait a second. Did Jesus do anything wrong? Nothing. This is not right! I understand how you feel, but the people insisted on taking Jesus before Pilate. Who put this guy in charge? Even though he agreed Jesus had not done anything wrong, he sentenced Jesus to death on a cross. Wait, what? Couldn't God save people from their sins some other way? No, remember? God had a plan. He knew that we would do wrong things. Oh yeah, like when I lie about brushing my teeth after Oreos. Yeah, sure, they're clean. Because God hates sin, but loves us, he planned for Jesus to take all the punishment for the sins of all the people in the world. Well, that's like so many people. Hundreds, thousands, millions! That's why his death on the cross was so painful. It was definitely the biggest way that Jesus showed us love. He willingly gave up his life so that we could be forgiven by God. It's the whole reason we have so much fun getting ready to celebrate Easter. Oh man! Next week can't get here fast enough. <laughs>